So we're going to cover tabbing in InDesign. I am recording. Um, how do you manage tabs? Well, let me type in a few things. Normally we type these in Word. But let's say we have uh, on a table of contents, we have uh, 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 Jacob, what, what kind of nail, penny nail? What, what kind of nail do we have? Uh, common nail. Common? Box nail. Box. Finish nail. Finish. Brad. Brad. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. Okay. Thank you. I know there's so many more kinds of nails. I saw probably every single type of those nails on the telephone pole that I walked by yesterday. Good. Uh, hey, no problem. Uh, you know, again, I have to be, you have to be mentally present. Okay, so I'm going to make this a font that actually exists here. Uh, there we go. Now, um, what page is common nail on? I'm going to hit the tab key. Now, also go to type and show your hidden characters, okay? I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see. Uh, you actually have to have the tab key hit or depressed before it'll put that number out there. So maybe that's page two. I don't know. Box nail, if I hit tab, might be page four. Finish nail, if I hit the tab after that, might be page six. And then a Brad, hit the tab key, maybe that's page eight. Okay? Now, if you had hit the tab key in Word and you bring it in, the tabs usually don't line up. And that's okay, because we're going to fix the tabs here. Now, I can either create tabs now, or I can do them in a paragraph style. Which would you rather have? You guys already have paragraph styles built? Yes. So let me build a paragraph style. And I'm just going to call this paragraph style, new paragraph style, I'm going to call it Table of Contents, TOC. All right, so these are the TOC paragraph style. Now, let me zoom out just a little bit so we can see the entire page. I'm going to make these just a little bit bigger. I want everybody in the back to be able to see them. Okay, can everybody see this okay? Now, if I want to have this to, uh, if I want this tabbed over to basically the margin area, I am not going to do this. I'm not going to select the text and go to type and tabs. Why would I not do that? It's crickets. It doesn't work. Oh, it'll work. That's okay. It'll work. Why would I not, after a paragraph style has been made, why would I not go up here and do anything or go to control panel and do anything? Because you, be you need it to be part of the paragraph style. Why work so hard, right? You work so hard creating these paragraph styles, use them. So if I edit the paragraph style, I can double click on it, hit the preview, we move it off to the side here or down. Is there the word tabs in here? Well, there sure is, right there. God bless you. Now, the tab stop by default is set every half inch. That's what these little tiny tick marks above the ruler mean. I'm sorry, every quarter, no, every half inch. Okay, so by default, any of these numbers that are going to be listed here after I hit the tab key, they'll be lined up at the half inch point, okay? A random, well, not really random, it's just the closest half inch point to the type. Now, what we want to do is we want to, in this case, we want this to be aligned over here on the right. If you want something aligned on the right, which tab are we going to use? A left tab, a center tab, a right tab, or a align on decimal tab? We want it to align on its right side. Right tab. When you want text to line up on its right side, use a right tab, okay? A right tab stop. So this is the icon for right tab. So I clicked on it. Now, this ruler indicates the width of the column. The gray area indicates the part outside of the column or the margin. So if you put a tab way out in the gray area, that's going to not work out for you very well. That's wider than your column. 
So I'm going to just drop a tab in, and I don't let off the mouse. I'm clicking and dragging, and you guys can see there is a line that shows up because I have preview on. There's a line that shows up. What does that line indicate? Anybody understand what that line indicates? Where it's going to line up. Watch. When I let off the mouse, bam, they line up. Did you guys see that? If not, let me hit Command Z or get rid of that tab. How do you get rid of a tab if you've got too many of them? You're like, oh, darn, I put them in the wrong place. I've got 10 or 12 of them. How do I get rid of this tab? Just drag it off. Drag it off. Drag it off of that ruler. Again, this is the right tab. I'm going to put it in position. When I like where it's supposed to go, I stop, and there it goes. It is easier than we thought. Now, some of you enjoy a thing called a leader. A leader? Not somebody that leads you into battle. A leader, in regards to tabs, references what? Anybody know what a leader is? The little dots. Those are the normal, average, you know, character. But you can use different characters. So, where it says leader, and I still have this text selected, and, and it's going, I'm doing this through paragraph styles. Where it says leader, make sure you have your tab stop selected and it's above the ruler. You know, if it's not selected, you cannot affect it. So, there's a little blue uh, kind of highlight over it. In the leader, you can type a period. Hit the tab key, and it will show you, look, there are little dots for leaders. If the dots are too tight, put a space before the dot. Hit the tab key. It puts space, then dot. And you see how they beautifully align to one another. You cannot get that by typing in period, 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 period. They never line up if you type in period, 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 period. And guess, oh, guess who old e guess what old eagle guy sees right off the bat? Well, she looks at your stuff and she goes, "You're not using your tabs. You're using period, period, period. What are you doing?" And you're going, "How do you know that?" Because they don't line up. The periods don't line up. But when you guys use leaders and you're setting text professionally, those leader characters line up. Cool, huh? I'm going to hit OK, and I just set a right justified tab. Easy. Notice I, in my invisibles, there is only one. The tab key was depressed one time, not twice. I didn't sit there and go tab, 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 tab to get things to move over and line up. That is bad, 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 bad. One tab only. Now, let's say, I'm going to hit Command Z. Let's say we had prices. Now, some of you guys may have the distinct pleasure and pain in the future to work on an annual report. Yucky, but yummy. Sorry. Annual reports are something that uh, businesses put out to their investors and let them know where they've spent the money, where the money went, and how the, how the company's doing. And in an annual report, there's a lot of money talk and percentages and lots of numbers and lots of tabbing, lots of formatting. So let's say I had a 2.345%, I'm sorry, 2.245%. I had a 4.2% and I had a 6.333%. Uh, uh, and this is, this is the percentage of sales that these different kinds of nails do. So now we're doing an annual report for the nail company. And this one accounts for 8.75% of sales. Okay? When we're dealing with things with decimal points, let me double click on its paragraph style and go to tabs. We want the decimal points to line up. It looks great this way. So, which tab am I going to use? Left justified tab. Center justified tab, right justified tab, or a line on decimal tab. I already told you we're going to line them on the decimal. So we choose a line on the decimal point tab. And let's just put it over there and see what happens. Oh, those, some of those numbers are too long. Bring it back. Oh, look, isn't that organized and pretty? That looks good, doesn't it? 
When you're dealing with decimal points, you need to align, you need to use a decimal point tab, okay? Because if I make this a right tab, it doesn't look as good. Agree? Well, some people might like that, but usually we do it on a decimal. It doesn't actually look half bad, but we typically would align anything with a decimal point on a decimal point tab. And why is my text going down to the next line? Isn't that, oh, why, why is my text not following? My tab is right here. Why is that text going to the next line? I'm getting so upset. Why is that going to the next line? My box isn't wide enough. Well, I'm not going to make it any wider. So what's the solution to the problem? No, it's not it either. It's not too long of a sentence. You guys saw I got to work earlier. Why is the tab material going down to the next line of type? Or the next line? My box is just as wide as I can make it because that page is a, a set page size. Guys, if you set your tab stop too far over to the right and type starts going on to the next line, pull the tab back a little bit. That, when you're using tabs and you're new to it, will drive you freaking batty. You don't understand that. I was there once. It used to drive me batty. When I first started learning how to use tabs properly in this software, back when I was working in publishing, I, it would make me so mad when type would go to the next line. I'm like, what are you doing? So I'd have to go and edit it, edit my style, and bring it back. Bring the tab stop back. Now, if, now watch this. I'm going to hit OK. It looks great. Oh, somebody comes along and says, we need this to be even bigger. Oh, OK, OK, no problem. I'll edit the style sheet and, or paragraph style, and I'll just go to basic character formats, and I'll make it 72 points, and I'll hit OK. Whoa. Ah! You made me change something, and it's ruined my life. You see how it ruined my life? It only ruins our lives if we don't understand. What happened? Same kind of thing just happened. The tab stop needs to be pulled back in because this type got bigger, and when the type got bigger, it could the, the box that it's in couldn't accommodate its size, so it moved down to the next line. So now I get to go in there. Not only did I have to alter the size of the text, I now have to alter where that tab stop goes so that it will get back up to the line it's supposed to be on. That stuff used to drive me batty. Not so much anymore because I can quickly fix it in just a couple quick seconds if I'm using paragraph styles and tabs correctly.